कोर्स टाइटल जियोलॉजी पेपर टाइटल इकोनॉमिक जियोलॉजी एंड मिनरल रिसोर्स ऑफ इंडिया टॉपिक ऑफ द लेसन ओर डेपोजिट असोसिएटेड विथ इंटरमीडिएट टू फेलसिक इग्नियस रॉक्स पार्ट टू ग्रीस एंड स्कान डेपोजिट्स objectives to understand the mode of occurrence of greesen deposits their ore potentialities and genetic aspects the geological environment of scan deposits types and genetic aspects of scan deposits greesen deposits Greesens may be defined as a granoblastic aggregate of quartz and muscovite or lepidolite with accessory amounts of topaz, tourmaline and fluorite formed by the postmagmatic metasomatic alteration of granite stem proc 1987 Greesens are usually developed at the upper contacts of granitic intrusions and are sometimes accompanied by stock work development. The mineralization occurs as large irregular or sheet-like bodies immediately beneath the upper contact of late stage. Geochemically specialized granites and may extend downwards for some 10 to 100 meters before grading through a zone of feldspathic alteration albitization microclinization into fresh granite below pollard et al 1988 pegmatitic fluids often migrate to these apical portions of granite intrusions and may form intrusions along the margins of greesen bodies such pegmatitic bodies in greesenized granites are known by traditional name stock shitter cross sections of 3 cenovic czechoslovakia sadisdorf germany and east kemptvilly canada greesen deposits are shown in figure 1 Erkberg region on either side of the Czech German border is well known for occurrence of numerous greesen deposits and have been worked for many years. The Erkberg deposits occur as massive greesens and greesen bordered veins in the uppermost endocontacts and exocontacts of small lithium mica albite granite cupolas. These coils at depth to form a large batholith. Bulk mining of tin tungsten ores in the late 1980s took place at Altenburg, Germany and Sinovic former Czechoslovakia. Altenburg deposit is the world's longest worked tin deposit which has been actively involved in mining since the Middle Ages. the grades of ore then being worked were altenburg 0.2 to 0.3% tin 0.01% tungsten 0.01% molybdenum 1% fluorine cenovic 0.2% tin 0.35% tungsten 0.35% lithium Deposits similar to Altenburg have been worked in Namibia, Indonesia and other tin provinces. Some productive tin tungsten beryllium greesens are located 1 in cupola top or at exocontact of lower tertiary granites in eastern Siberia and western Mongolia. 2 at Hemmerden in Devon southwest england where stock works and veins of wolframite are encountered in greesenized granite 
three in Portugal at Penescura, where wolframite occurs as fissure veins in hornfelsic phyllites near greasonized granite cupolas topped with silsified cap rocks. Geological aspects of tin mineralization at East Kemptville, Nova Scotia, Canada were investigated in detail by several investigators, including Chatterjee and Strong, 1984. The tin mineralization at East Kemptville is developed beneath an inflection in the granite meta sedimentary contact of a discrete pluton known as Davis Lake Pluton. The western margin of the deposit is defined by the steeply dipping contact, but the eastern boundary is an essay boundary as is the lower margin, which is at about 8 to 100 meters below surface, figure 1 C and D. The greasin is rich in fluorin, up to 6.5% fluorin. During crystallization of the host granite, a fluorin and tin-rich hydrothermal fluid evolved and scavenged chlorine, phosphorus, tin, and other metals from the magma, concentrating them beneath the contact and thus giving rise to topaz-rich greasins. The Davis Lake Pluton is a part of the South Mountain Batholith. The batholith was intruded into a deformed lower Paleozoic metasedimentary sequence and it contains number of zone coalescent plutons that may average more than 10 ppm tin. These plutons are tin-specialized yes-type granite showing such features as high rubidium potassium and a marked decrease in barium and strontium and an increase in rubidium from marginal granodiorite to late-stage alaskite, a pattern indicative of in-situ crystallization. Groves and McCarthy, 1978, suggest that tin greasins may develop in the upper parts of granite plutons when an impermeable roof of early crystallized cumulates has formed. Beneath this roof, water-saturated melt accumulates and eventually crystallizes. Incompatible elements Tin and other elements are concentrated in the late intercumulus liquid which eventually loses equilibrium with the cumulus minerals and greasonization proceeds. The above model suggests some useful exploration indicators. Tin is likely to have been concentrated in zones with the lowest barium and strontium values and confirmation of such an area as being one where late stage crystallization occurred can be obtained by examining the variation of concentration changes of incompatible elements such as lithium and rubidium with height within the granite. In addition, the granites should be tin-specialized, yes-type with cupolas and ridge zones largely preserved from erosion or with other traps for water-saturated melts. In the future, greasins may become important sources of beryllium, niobium tantalum, rare earth elements, yttrium, and other elements. Example, Greasin deposit at Thor Lake, Northwest Territories, Canada consists of large reserves of beryllium, niobium tantalum, and rare earth elements. Scan deposits. Scan deposits have been termed in literature variously as hydrothermal metamorphic, igneous metamorphic, contact metamorphic, 
and pyrometasomatic deposits. Scan deposits were formed at elevated temperatures with the addition and subtraction of material metasomatism. They are developed most often but not invariably at the contact of intrusive plutons and carbonate country rocks. The latter are converted to marble, calcilicate, horn felses, and or scans by contact metamorphic effects. Reactions in contact zone depend on the nature of the intruding rock emanations produced by the intrusive fluid activated in the wall rocks and overall pressure temperature regime. Minerals of scan zones are both diagnostic and conspicuous. In limestones, for example, scan is characterized by lime-rich minerals such as grossularite or andradite, wollastonite, tremolite, epidote, and calcium iron pyroxenes, hedenbergite or salite. Dolomites develop serpentine, diopside, the humite chondrodite group, and other minerals rich in magnesium. Scans in carbonate hosts are likely to contain other minerals from the garnet and scapolite families. Shaley rocks in igneous metamorphic aureoles get baked and harden or recrystallized into a dense sugary rock known as hornfels and the latter often consists of garnet, cordierite and andalusite, silimanite, hornblende, actinolite and scapolite. The calcilicate minerals such as diopside, andradite and wollastonite which are often the principal minerals in the ore-bearing scans, attest to the high temperatures involved and various lines of evidence suggest a range of 650 to 400 degrees centigrade for initial scan formation. But in some scans, particularly zinc and lead scans, lower temperatures have been obtained. The pressures at the time of formation were very variable as the depths of formation were probably from one to several kilometers. Some of the scan deposits of the USA are associated with porphyry copper intrusions indicating a relatively shallow depth of emplacement. Scans can be classified according to the rocks they replace and the terms exoscan and endoscan were applied originally to replacements of carbonate metasediments, usually marbles, and intrusive rocks, respectively, in the contact zones, but some authors have extended the use of the term endoscan to scan formed in any aluminous rock, shales, volcanics, etc., Enaudi and Burt, 1982. Both endoscans and exoscans may contain ore, but in an endoscan exoscan couplet, where the exoscan is a converted marble, it usually contains most or all of the economic mineralization. Exoscans may be classified according to the dominant mineralogy as magnesium if they contain an important component of magnesium silicates such as phosphorite or as calci when calcium silicates, example, Andradite, diopside are predominant. The majority of the world's economic scans deposits occur in calcic exoscans. The general nature of metalliferous scan types is shown in Table 1.
Khan deposits are usually described according to the dominant economic mineral or metal present example copper iron tungsten zinc lead molybdenum tin talc etc these deposits are generally smaller than many other deposit types such as porphyry copper porphyry molybdenum and sediment hosted lead zinc deposit but they are very important source of tungsten ores of copper scan deposits at several places contain by product gold and or silver example twin butes arizona usa zinc lead scans deposits occurs widely but are seldom of large tonnage scan deposit of molybdenum and tin are of little importance compared to other deposits of these metals but rare occurrence contains significant amounts of tin ore 3 million tons of 1.5% tin grade with by products of zinc lead and silver other rare types are calcic molybdenum calcic tin and magnesium tin the principal ore and associated opaque minerals for each of the metalliferous scan types is given in the table 1 together with the major gang mineralogy exoscans usually show zoning of both silicate and ore minerals example magnetite scans pennsylvania endoscans also display mineral zonation resulting from a progressive addition of calcium to the igneous protolith usually any igneous body ranging from granite to gabbro a common zonation outwards towards the marble host is biotite amphibolite pyroxen garnet K feldspar in the intrusive disappears but plagioclase may survive examples copper scan deposits most copper scan deposits are associated with cal alkaline granodiorite to monzo granite stocks emplaced in continental margin arcs these intrusives often carry porphyry coppers which are well developed in the mesozoic and tertiary continental margin of the western americas a small number of copper scans occur in oceanic island arcs associated with quartz diorite to monzo granite plutons example meme mine haiti The porphyry copper associated scans can be very large and may contain a few hundred million tons of ore. Copper Canyon, Nevada. This is a porphyry copper associated deposit where scan has repaid calcareous shale or argillite beds producing a flat lying tabular zone. of andradite rich rock in which most of mineralization occurred figure 2 although the andradite rock stretches at least 400 meters from the granite porphyry stock only the part within 180 meters of the contact contains ore Scan deposits surrounding the pluton of the Copper Canyon exhibit a zonal arrangement. Proximal to distal scans contain successively copper, silver, gold, gold, silver, lead, zinc, silver. Figure three.
the meme deposit northern high tea frequently at the contacts of scans and intrusions there is a complete gradational contact and this is the case at the meme copper mine where large blocks of cretaceous limestone are surrounded by monzo granite mineralization was preceded by extensive magmatic assimilation that formed zones of cyanodiorite and granodiorite around the limestone following the crystallization of magma the limestone and neighboring parts of the intrusion were replaced by scan the intrusion derived endoscan contains large quantities of diopside which distinguishes it from the marble derived exoscan there is a complete gradational contact between these scans mineralization followed scan formation and consisted of the introduction of hematite magnetite pyrite molybdenite chalcopyrite bornite chalcosite and digenite in that paragenetic order these occur as replacement zones the main scan and ore development is along the lower contact with the limestone block figure 4 scan formation took place at temperature ranging from 640 degree centigrade to 480 degree centigrade and youngest ore minerals crystallized at about 250 degree centigrade iron scan deposits sarbai in turgai iron ore province kazakhstan Sarbai is the giant of scan deposits with 715 million tons of iron ore with 46% iron. The ore bodies figure 5 occur in a succession of metamorphosed pyroclastics marbles and diorite constitutes the igneous intrusive. Iron scan ore bodies are associated with chlorine bearing scapolite indicating the presence of significant amounts of brine solution during metasomatism Iron scan deposit at Iron Springs Utah USA is an idle example of scan development at the boundary between intrusive and limestone figure 6 tungsten scan deposits bulk of the scan tungsten comes from a few relatively large deposits king island tasmania sangdong korea canada Tungsten and Macmillan Pass, Yukon, Canada and Pine Creek, California, USA. King Island, Tasmania. King Island contains a number of important tungsten deposits. In these deposits, shellite bearing andradite scans formed by selective replacement of limestone beds. which are intruded by monzo granite of devonian age the 5 to 40 meter thick ore bodies lie at the exo contact of the intrusive irregular relics of marble occur in the scan attesting to its metasomatic origin Quack 1978 indicated that the most favorable site for ore formation was at places where the marble contained numerous layers of horn fells within 400 meters of the monzo granite contact Veselovsky et al 1988 indicated the following stages in the development of these ore bodies 
intrusion of the granitoids into a sequence of interbedded impure carbonates, shales, and volcanic rocks resulted in contact metamorphism during which the shales became highly impermeable metapellites, but interbedded dolomitic carbonates probably became more permeable when they were changed into marbles. Pre-existing faults and fractures created by the intrusion channeled the flow of high temperature fluids up to 800 degrees centigrade into the permeable marbles creating massive calcilicate replacement scans and a chemical environment favoring the precipitation of shellite. Salau Tungsten Mine, France. At Salau Tungsten Mine, Devonian limestones were intruded by Hercinian granodiorite. The intrusion converted the limestone at its contact into gray graphitic marbles. The ore bodies occur in exoscans, figure 7. The shellite ore contains, apart from shellite, rich concentrations of pyrrhotite with minor amounts of chalcopyrite, molybdenite, arsenopyrite, and other sulfides. The shellite is richly disseminated throughout the pyrrhotite bearing scan 1 to 2 percent tungsten oxide but in the pyrrhotite poor Hedenbergite garnet scans, it is only around 0.2%. Graphite scan deposits. A minor amount of graphite production comes from scans, example, Norwegian Skaland mine. Here, lenses of scan up to 200 meter long and 5 to 6 meters thick carry 20 to 30 percent graphite and occur within mica schists surrounded by metagabros and granites. Gang minerals include diopside, hornblende, labradorite, spine, garnet, scapolite, and volastonite. The deposits are thought to have resulted from the concentration of pre-existing carbon in the sediments and these could be calcilicate horn felses or reaction scans. Genetic relationship of scans with plutons. Average composition of plutons associated with different metal specific scans provided in figure 8 indicates a major petrogenetic control, Minard 1992. Tin and molybdenum scans typically associate with high silica about 75% SiO2 well differentiated plutons, example, tin scans, Moina, Tasmania, Australia. Molybdenum scans, Little Boulder Creek, Montana, USA, while gold and iron scans relate with relatively less evolved low silica 62% SiO2, high iron plutons, example, gold scans, fortitude mine, Nevada, USA, calcic iron scan, Vancouver Island, Canada, magnesium iron scan, iron hat, California, USA. Copper, zinc and tungsten scans are associated with plutons having silica content ranging from 63 to 69%. Example, copper scan, Santa Rita, New Mexico, USA, zinc scan, Nica, Mexico, 
Tungsten Scan, Macmillan Pass, Canada. Likewise, scan deposits develop under diverse tectonic settings, Minard, 1992. Chalcophile metal scans with oceanic back arc basin magmatism, tungsten molybdenum and chalcophile metal scans with magmatism of subduction zone beneath continents. Molybdenum tungsten, bismuth, zinc, fluorine, scans with felsic intrusives of low angle subduction beneath continents and lithophile elements, tin, tungsten, boron, fluorine, lithium, beryllium, tin, uranium. Enriched scans with magmatism post-subduction or continental rifting environment. Genesis of scan deposits. A common pattern in the evolution of proximal scans, scans near or at an igneous contact has been recognized which takes the form of 1. Initial isochemical metamorphism, stage 1. 2. Multiple stages of metasomatism, stage 2 and 3. Retrograde alteration, stage 3, figure 9. Stage 1. It involves the recrystallization of the country rocks around the causative intrusion producing marble from limestone, horn fells from shales, quartzite from sandstone, etc. Reaction scans form along the lithological contact where the marbles are impure, various calcium and magnesium silicates may form. The principal process involved in this isochemical metamorphism is diffusion of elements in an essentially stationary fluid apart from the driving out of some metamorphic water. The rocks as a whole may become more brittle and more susceptible to infiltration of fluids in stage 2. Stage 2. The infiltration of the contact rocks by hydrothermal magmatic fluids leads to the conversion of pure and impure marbles, other rock types into scans and the modification of calcilicate horn felses of stage 1. During the prograde metamorphic and metasomatic process, Operating at temperatures of about 800 to 400 degrees centigrade, ore fluids evolve and initial ore deposition takes place. During this stage, the intrusive ore pluton also begins to cool. The new minerals developed in Table 1 are dominantly anhydrous. Deposition of oxides and sulfides commences late in this stage but generally peaks during stage 3. Stage 3 This is a retrograde stage accompanying cooling of the associated pluton and involves hydrous alteration of early scan minerals and parts of the intrusion by circulating meteoric water. Calcium tends to be leached and volatiles introduced with the development of minerals such as low iron epidote, chloride, actinolite, etc. See Table 1. Declining temperatures lead to the precipitation of sulphides. The alteration is usually structurally controlled and cuts across earlier scan patterns 
with the sulfide deposition often extending beyond the scan boundaries into marble or horn fells. Here, reactions at the marble contact may lead to neutralization of the hydrothermal solutions and the development of high-grade sulfide ores. In distal scans, stage 1 or even stage 2 may not be developed. The degree to which a particular stage is developed in a particular scan will depend upon its geological environment. Metamorphism during stages 1 and 2 is likely to be more extensive and higher grade around a scan developed at deep crustal levels than the one formed at shallow depths. Conversely, retrograde alteration during cooling and the possible influx of meteoric water stage 3 will probably be more intense at shallow rather than at deeper levels. The temporal sequence of contact metamorphism, metasomatism, retrograde alteration in the scan broadly parallels and synchronizes with the sequence of emplacement, crystallization, alteration and cooling stages respectively of the pluton. Useful short summaries of scan deposits can be found in Sawkins 1990, Edwards and Atkinson 1986 and Ashok Mukherjee 1993. Summary Greason Deposits Greasons are granoblastic aggregates of quartz and muscovite or lepidolite with accessory amounts of topaz, tourmaline and fluorite formed by post-magmatic metasomatic alteration of granite. Greasons are usually developed at the upper contacts of granitic intrusions and mineralization occurs as large irregular or sheet-like bodies immediately beneath the upper contact of late stage, geochemically specialized yes-type granites. Major occurrences of Greason deposits are the world's longest worked tin deposit at Ergberg region on either side of the Zec German border, deposits in Namibia, Indonesia, Western Mongolia, Eastern Siberia, Russia, Southwest England and Portugal. Greason deposits are mined for tin, tungsten and beryllium. In future, Greasons may constitute important sources of beryllium, niobium tantalum, rare earth elements, yttrium and other elements. Scan deposits Scan deposits have been referred to variously in literature as a. Hydrothermal metamorphic b. Igneous metamorphic C. Contact metamorphic and D. Pyrometasomatic deposits. They are developed most often but not invariably at the contact of intrusive plutons and carbonate country rocks. The latter are converted to marble, calcilicate horn felses and or scans by contact metamorphic effects. The majority of the world's economic scan deposits occur in calcic exoscans. Scan deposits are mined for copper, iron, tungsten, lead, zinc, molybdenum, tin, etc. These deposits are generally smaller most copper scan deposits are associated with cal-alkaline granodiorite to 
monzogranite stocks emplaced in continental margin arcs a smaller number of copper skans occur in oceanic island arcs associated with quartz diorite to monzonite plutons typical examples of skan type copper deposits include those at copper canyon nevada usa and meme northern haiti jain skan type iron deposits at sarbai in turgai iron ore province kazakhstan are associated with diorite and contain 715 million tons of iron ore with 46% iron iron skan deposit at iron springs uta usa is an ideal example of skan development at the boundary between intrusive and limestone bulk of the skan tungsten scheelite comes from a few relatively large deposits example king island tasmania sangdong korea canada tungsten and macmillan pass canada and pine creek california china is the world's largest producer of tungsten ores Dolomite hosted skan deposits of talc are encountered in France Trimois mine and Austria minor amount of graphite production comes from skans from Skaland mine Norway tin and molybdenum skans are typically associated with high silica about 75% SiO2 well differentiated plutons while gold and iron skans relate with relatively less evolved low silica 62% SiO2 high iron plutons copper zinc and tungsten skans are associated with plutons having silica content ranging from 63 to 69% Skan deposits are associated with magmatic rocks emplaced under diversified tectonic settings. Oceanic back arc basin, subduction zone beneath continents and post subduction or continental drifting environment. Proximal skans evolve through initial isochemical metamorphism stage 1 multiple stages of metasomatism stage 2 and retrograde alteration stage 3 in distal skans stage 1 or even stage 2 may not be developed